There's a wee bit of pink coming over there. It's freezing, <laughs> but worth it. Oh, come on. come on. Really wanting the sun to come up now. Oh, and the sky eagle pink. Please, 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 please. <laughs> it really was a cold morning. And a few hours before, on the drive up, the temperature gauge in the car had gone to, down to minus 8. It was chilly. Anyway, the purpose of this trip was the forecast was suggesting that there might be some low-lying cloud and I was really, really hoping to capture this hill with an inversion under it. So I headed up, full of hope. Oh man, <laughs> it's early. What time is it? It's just before 6 o'clock. If I just... Oh, I'll show you. Don't know if you could see that or not. But yeah, just before six o'clock, it's, <laughs> it's cold, it's minus 4.5. And I got up about two hours ago, I've been driving up icy roads, going past lots of big, massive stags on the side of the road. And this morning, I'm heading up. Well, I was up here a few weeks ago, actually, and I was rushing. And hopefully this morning, I'm here early enough, I've got about an hour and a half to two hours till sunrise. I'm hoping to capture the sunrise, although I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, beautiful clear skies, white top mountains coming up, but yeah, I've been trying to get up here in certain conditions and the conditions aren't what I'm hoping for. But anyway, I'm going to go out for a wee walk and enjoy the sunrise and maybe get some photographs. I don't really want to. So after some procrastination, I eventually built up the courage to open the car door and leave the nice warm car to go and get ready. And it was a crystal clear morning and most of the time I'd be super happy with this but as I said I was really disappointed. I was hoping there'd be some low lying fog so I could climb up the hill and get above it and enjoy a cloud inversion but hey ho, never mind. And I headed off up the hill full of hope for a nice sunrise instead. It was a steep pull up here and very, very cold. Lovely morning, look at this. Oh, well, everything's glistening. It's very frosty. It was minus about four or minus five when I left the car. And this is just fabulous. Beautiful morning. Anyway, my last piece to camera, I'll turn this off so much shine in your face. Yeah, the last piece to camera, I think I mentioned that uh, I was a bit disappointed by the conditions. And now, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely beautiful here this morning. And there is fog over here, which is rolling in over Rannoch Moor. I'm kind of hoping, what I was really hoping for was some fog in the valley and a bit of an inversion so I could see see the buckle rising out above the fog. But at the moment, that's not going to happen. It's about an hour till sunrise. But what there is, there's some lovely high-ish level clouds out to the west. And if all goes to plan, they might catch when the sun comes up. But who knows? Any... Irrespective of what happens, it's just uh, it's just nice to be out. Beautiful morning, not much wind, and uh, Glencoe never fails to disappoint. It's it's absolutely fantastic. So let's fingers crossed we can get up here, enjoy a sunrise. At the moment, it's pretty clear out to the east, so I'm hoping that the sun's going to come up and illuminate everything, and maybe get some pictures. So there we get the head torch back on, and get up this hill. Right, let's go. Wah. So when I applauded, and it's a steep old pull up this hill, especially from this side, and care does need to be taken, there's no paths, there's a bit of a trot through the heather and what have you. Anyway, it soon started to lighten up behind me in the east, and I could see the first signs of dawn approaching. It was lovely. Well, that spot looks good. This is fantastic, look at this. And over here, I think it's going to be a nice, uh, it could be, it's got potential to be a really good sunrise. And I'm not far off the small top called Stob Benacrolaist. But I've stopped here, I, I just think it's a nice viewpoint. I can see down Glencoe, but I'm not looking to, to photograph that way. The sun's coming up over here, so I want a nice shot of the sunrise. And I can see the colour of the star in those clouds, it's, it's fantastic. I think I can put my head torch off now, because it's starting to get enough light. But this, there is fog now starting to come in, and I'm hoping that's going to sweep round the buckle. 
You never know stranger things that happen, but it's got a real potential. This is just fantastic, it's lovely. And there's, there's a very little wind, which is lovely, and the star, oh, it's, just, it's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and get the camera set up and uh, see if I can get some pictures and enjoy this sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's, uh, let's get set. Magical. I found a nice spot with a grand view of the Buchel which I thought would give a nice photographic shot and also a nice spot to enjoy breakfast and hopefully watch the sunrise but I tell you it was still blooming cold so I got my wee duvet jacket on and wrapped up and all, all that was waiting now was the sunrise but I don't know if you can see behind me some of that fog was just starting to roll in off Rannoch Moor things were starting to look very very promising Oh, well, it's a bit cold and I'm just playing about with the camera here, you can see it. And it's just, there's just something special about this place, it's, you don't need me to tell you that. I'm really hoping the sky lights up. I'll find out in the next 10 minutes, we'll get that view behind me. <laughs> Not a bad day, so I'm just taking some pictures and this fog's coming in, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. It's just fantastic, so fingers crossed that something happens with this high level cloud, it's all set. It's all set to be spectacular to be honest with you, but all it takes is a wee band of cloud on the horizon to stop that sun hitting it and it'll just be... I mean this is good enough to be honest, I think I've got some good pictures but it'd be nice if that sky went a nice uh, nice colour so fingers crossed. <laughs> Lovely. As I was waiting for the sunrise I noticed the fog did start to roll in and start to sweep round the buccal. It was just fantastic and I sat taking time lapses and photographs. What a fantastic place to be when this was happening. Oh, it's marvellous, absolutely marvellous. What a great morning it's been. Whew. The sunrise is now happening. <laughs> As sods law would have it, there's one bit of cloud away over on the eastern, eastern uh, horizon, which is sort of blocking it. But I don't know if you can make out the hills way through to Glen Etiv. Over there are being lit up by the sun. And it's not, not long before the sun will come up and light these mountains up. So I'll maybe wait for another few minutes. But I'm so glad that I came. I didn't think this, you know, you can, I think you can see it behind me, the, the inversion and the fog. That wasn't there when I parked up. But as I was making my way up the hill, I could see it starting to move in off Rannoch Moor. And this is exactly what it was after. I'm so happy. The sky kind of lit up over to the east. It didn't quite, there was a wee bit of colour behind the buccal. But it's just absolutely brilliant. So I'm kind of glad I came out. I, I, I was thinking about it as well. I, I think it's an addiction coming up to the mountains, well for me it certainly is, I need my mountain fix, you know, I know that as soon as I come down here and I head off back and I'm, I'll spend the, the weekend with the family but my mind will start ticking over about where I'm going to go next and the next good weather coming and where I can go to, to go and climb and what have you. I mean today was just a short hike but mainly, mainly about the photographs, so hopefully the photographs have come out okay, you'll have seen them before I've seen them, if that makes sense, so it's a bit, yeah, a bit odd, so they might be good, they might not. But it's just a fabulous place. It's just absolutely beautiful here, and the, the videos never do it justice. It just the buccal there, this magnificent mountain, just almost feels like you can reach out and grab it in the palm of your hand and bring it over. It's absolutely amazing, and it's a fantastic viewpoint. So I'm going to sit here for a bit longer, enjoy the views, and then head back home. I should be home for about 9:30, 10. It's that early. Right, take my warm hands up. <laughs> Woo! So eventually the sun peaked above the horizon. I just spent the next half an hour enjoying the views, having a bite to eat, a wee bit of breakfast. But what a place. It was just sublime.
Having enjoyed my breakfast from a mighty perch watching the mist rolling down Glencoe, I had to pull myself away. I needed to get back home and spend some time with the family. So yeah, it was a bit of a pull leaving that spot, but it had to be done. But the walk back out wasn't half bad either, and the views just continued to amaze. It was just lovely. What a morning to be out. It really was the perfect morning.